G'day folks, welcome to Big VTV. Great to have you with us. 12 rounds down and two list. big stories this week. State champ men, state champ women. Two big stories. First big story. Yes. We are officially heading into the final third of the season. Ooh. That's the Come first big story. It has. Second big story. And this is my favourite story. Oh, I have never seen Callum Chambers look better than he does right now. That is the best look I've ever seen out of Kevin. Where is it? Everyone loves an upgrade. Yeah, well, it's a big upgrade, let me tell you. That's <laughs> like, that is like going from a mini miner to a Rolls Royce. Yeah. That's what it's like. Like a Nokia to an iPhone. Like, like, what? like a Nokia to an iPhone. iPhone. I think you just connected with yeah, our audience just, much more than yes. this guy. Yeah. Are we talking about cars? Yes. Oh? Um, hey, where, where is, where is we the young man? Go rid of him. You know, you know what? We, we went back through all the uh, editions of the show over the years. There's about 800 of them, mind you. So during the we break, hope you had a great break, by the way. During the break, uh, Nathan and I went back through all the old editions of the show. Yep. Most of them are crap, but we went through all of them, right? Had we, sleep over. we had sleep over, we went through all It was like the grand final, it was like the night before the grand <laughs> final. Uh, so we went through them all. <laughs> Cal's actually been suspended for a week. That's why you're ringing, Beth. He got suspended, be well, over the 800 shows that we've done, He's burped or farted 30 times. He's picked his nose 163 times. He's inappropriately scratched himself in places that we don't even want to mention at least three dozen times. We certainly don't want to mention That's what we got to. So we're just suspending for a week. We said, mate, that's it. Until you lift your game. Because he's a pig. It's as simple as that. No, it is. He's a pig. We've said to him, mate, you're out until you fix it. Don't give a crap. Yeah, Yeah. so no, he's out. Anyway. Put him back. Put put him back. So, keep your hand. Uh, 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 Keep your hands above the table. We don't want any air coming out of places that it shouldn't come out of, all right? Just behave yourself, okay? Just Does that mean yourself. I don't have to do the ladder? No, you've no. got to do the ladder. No, <laughs> well, no. I'm playing Cal. I'm playing Cal. No. Cal. No. Cal. No. No. State Championship Women, let's get into it. McKinnon 55, defend. oh, now hang on a second. This wow. is the number one error that you make when recording Big VTV. Who is it? You gotta turn your phone. It's Cal from. It was Cal, I think, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, Mickey, he's outside the window. Uh, McKinnon, 55, defeated Diamond Valley, 39. ADV struggling to score at the moment in a major way. Let's be serious. 39 points isn't even 10 points a quarter. Yeah. In their the last three, points. they've averaged 40 points a game. So they've dropped no, right no, off. They're, they're yeah. in struggle town scoring wise at the moment. Uh, over the four quarters, they scored 5, 4, 11, and 9. That's not good enough. Shot one of six from the foul line as well. Oh, Kel's just left me a message. <laughs> um, Alex Love, 14 points in the game. Nicole Zammett, nine assists. Uh, I think she's leading the assists in state champ women. Mm. She's having a very good yeah. season. First season new club, doing very, Great very well. Great pick up from the Melbourne yep. Tigers from the Kinner. Carly Turner, under all sorts of pressure at the moment. She's getting the best defender every week. Yeah. Eight and eight in this game. McKinnon just motoring along. I think they're, they're safe. Yes, two is the same. Top four is safe, I think. Uh, Bulleen, yeah, bull- and they are, they are knocking on the door. Waverley have lost three of their last four. We're going to get to them in a moment. Yep, they're probably the team that Bulleen has in their yeah, sights. Yeah, anyone moment. can push into the top four now. Look, I don't think anyone will, but if they can, it's going to be Bulleen. And they didn't do their harm any their cause any harm on the weekend. Did their harm any harm good? Any cause? Oh, yeah, right. They yeah. absolutely smashed Melbourne, ninety three to fifty four. I just turn uh, this off so it doesn't ring me anymore. Sure, the Boomers started with a 30 to 7 opening quarter, so they absolutely yeah, raced yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, game. Done. They shot at 49% for the game, which is sensational at that level. Hey, I've coached women's basketball for 10 years, I'm telling you, 49% is a reasonably good effort. What was interesting was that import Tara Booker didn't play. Yeah, where was she? Not sure, so um, okay. she might have gone the way of Tim Tim, maybe. No, <laughs> don't say that, don't say that. No. Uh, Funda Nakasolu yeah, had uh, 23 points, uh, Sydney Moss had 17. Uh, of the 54 for the Northern Tigers. And the week before, uh, the round before, Sydney Moss went down with a knee injury. Yeah. My source, who's usually reliable, it was like Sydney Moss had been shot with a cannon. Gone, finished, you won't see her again for the rest of the season. So to that source, <laughs> up yours, I'll never listen to you again. Sydney yeah, Moss played. Right. Uh, Elton 57 went down to Ringwood 76. Uh, there was a lot of talk mm. in some circles. Not mine. Uh, no, not yours, <laughs> that Eltham up and about we're going to really force their finals chances by beating Ringwood. Not against Ringwood. Ringwood yeah, are exactly. too good. Yeah. Hawks won their 10th in a row, I think. Uh, Amber Heggie, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists. Michelle Kraski had 18 points. Uh, Easy B, 14. Munro, Hayley Munro, 13 and 10. Ringwood just motoring along best. Just oh. motoring along. Yeah, only, still only with one, one loss. They're going to just keep going that way into the finals. Are they your tip right now? You said to me on the weekend, they're your tip. Did you tell me that on the weekend? Was that someone else? No, someone else. Oh, I'm asking you right now. Are they your tip? <sighs> Ringwood to win it. It's best to lose. 
One thing they have improved. Yeah, Hume City are pretty good. Uh, Hume City are very good. What, what I will say about Ringwood, because I've been their biggest critic yeah, sure. in the last few years, the fact that they didn't have. The, so. Well, they haven't won a title, have they? <laughs> no. I said they didn't have the depth. <laughs> they did not have the depth to win a title. Mm. Have they won one? <laughs> right, so You're I think harsh man. what I'm saying right yeah. now is they have built that depth and they oh, can absolutely. win the title. Yeah, you know, you're Tara Blairs, you're Emma Burns, Jackie Van Der yep. back this year coming back from her injury. So you're right, they've I'm got the fan. pieces around Kowalski and Heggie. I think they can team. win it. Yeah, yeah. I, absolutely, I think, I think they can win it. I think it's, you know, them and Hume City that are the form yeah. teams that they're yeah. in Because Hume City are pretty good. They are good. Two teams that definitely won't win it, Beth, are... <laughs> Sherbrooke and Warrandyte. It will take us through the game. <laughs> Sherbrooke 52 defeated Warrandyte 44. 20, 24 to 13 start by the Suns. Venom held Suns a three point in the third, but could only score five points. And that's a big thing there because I think Warrandyte were very disappointed with their first half efforts here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously down by a bit of quarter time, then they're chasing. Uh, I reckon Nicole Howard, the coach, has given them a real rev up at half time. They've come yeah, out, they've held Sherbrooke to three points. Now, it's not often in state champ women no. you see a team held with three points. So defensively, yep. fantastic. They didn't capitalise, though. They only scored five down the other end. Yep. And that's the game. That's it. That's done. Okay. Sherbrooke, sure, we're always going to go on. Yeah, it would have been a thrilling <laughs> quarter of basketball to watch. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I couldn't make it up to Belgrade. <laughs> yeah. uh, Sammy Waterhouse was in form again, though. Sammy Waterhouse, 14 points. Sarah Miller, 13 points. Rachel Waterhouse, 10 and 11. No Venom player, more than nine and, points. And, you know... Full credit to Sherbrooke for getting yeah. the job done. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well they've done it twice over Warrandyte this season. Waverley 67 went down to Hume City 82. These two teams met a few weeks ago, Nath, and yep. it went into OT. Didn't need to go that far this time. Broncos get the Falcons again. 27 to 13, third quarter. Set it up. Colleen Planita. I think you tipped her for MVP, the, didn't you? The, yeah, and the, I said Amber Heggie. The import finding of the year for the Hume City Broncos. Believe. We thought after, you know, with the loss of... Um, Froggy and the loss of Milner in the off season that they oh, and the rest. Yeah, and the rest they weren't going to be able to um, step up. But to get her in is an important. She's just dominating yeah, the she's competition at the moment. Twenty six and 10, 13 of fourteen from the foul line. Yep. There's a few teams that could learn a bit from that. I would have thought. I think most. Most. <laughs> Lauren Bennett had twelve points. Tegan Cunningham twenty and thirteen. Tal uh, Talia Higgs had sixteen points for Waverley. Big news: Tegan Cunningham during the week re-signed for next season. And oh, Ilya, yeah, Elia Pagliano as well. As re-signed as yes. well. Oh, he's, yep. he's just he doesn't even need to sign a piece yeah. of paper. I think it's a, a <laughs> real show of faith for the way. So he gets a new car. He gets another upgrade. Another um, strap forward. Another upgrade. Yes. Oh, right. That's how they do their contracts down there. Waverley. But look, that's a real show of faith in the Waverley program for the other player of the caliber of Tegan Cunningham to already sign there for yeah. 2015. Exactly. She's obviously fitted in. Good really stability. Well. Good stability. Yep. Uh, according to VCAT, Nathan, you take us through the letters. This is right. No, VCAT have spoken. We can, we can take it in no, uh, no, we are not going See, against nice the government department. No, that's crap. <laughs> yes, hey, suck. Later. Ringwood 11 and 1, they've won their last 10. Hume City are 9 and 2. McKinnon in good form, also 9 and 3. Waverley 8 and 4, but they've lost 3 of their yeah. last 4 now. So mind you, home. mind you, lost to Ringwood. Lost twice to Hume City. They're the teams that are going to beat oh, I, I know team. that, but I think they're going to hold fourth because they'll demolish every team below them. So <laughs> Maybe. I think they'll be fine. Uh, so that's the end of the top four. It, oh, well done, well done. Nice. Uh, Berlin 6 and 6, Eltham 5 and 6, yep. Sherbrooke 3 and 8, Diamond Valley 3 and 9, Melbourne 2 and 9, Warrandyte 2 and 10. That last four are a bit off the pace. Go yep. on. Let's have a look at the ladder. Round 13 coming up we Saturday just, night. We just looked at the ladder. Uh, sorry, let's have a look at the games coming up in round 13. Working with a couple of smart asses. Here we go. <laughs> round 13, Saturday, Sherbrooke. <laughs> Brooke Waverley. I think Waverley, Waverley might bounce back in that. They go on to the guest. Don't even think twice about it. Don't be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Waverley win that in a canter. Hume City bullying. Yeah, good game, but I think Hume, Hume City, City will win. Yeah. I think Hume City will get that at home. Warrandyte and Eltham. Go Eltham. Oh, you got to go Eltham in that, surely. Yeah. I think Eltham. I think it'd be tight, but I think Eltham. I think Eltham. Yeah. Sunday, Ringwood, Diamond Valley. Ringwood. The Hawks comfortably. Yeah, Ringwood. Yeah. Diamond Valley can't score more than 40. They can't score more than 40. That's the first, first thing on the agenda for Diamond Valley this week. Lots score. of shooting practice. Score. Mm. Uh, McKinnon, Sherbrooke. Who is? Yeah, McKinnon. Yeah, I think McKinnon will win that. They're flying at the moment. Melbourne and Waverley. It's not going to be pretty, is it? Waverley yeah, to two on the weekend. Let's go to state champ men. Let's kick it all off down at Cryo Bay, Nathan. Yeah, the, the Stingrays. Stingrays demolished the pace. They did. They got up 94 to 63. Uh, they won the rebound count. This is where they did the damage. 54 to 26. So That's a smashing. Yeah, Whittlesey just couldn't compete on the boards. Uh, Scooter Rankin had 20 points. The Rock, Jane, Dwayne Johnson, 17 points, 18 boards. 
big factor behind all the rebounds. Yep. Uh, Rebula, 15 points. Reardon, 13 points, 11 boards and 5 assists. Another great game. Like Amalo Hicks had a double, double as well, I think. Yeah. So. so Jason Dirks, well done. Played his 200th game. Was it his 200th Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. 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 Well yep. done, Dirks. So, um, Congratulations. He was their highest scorer with 11, yeah. by the way. So <laughs> Not a great <laughs> milestone game, but no. at the end of the day, well done to him. And, and a good end of the Sting race. Yeah, absolutely. But it's just on Dirks, 200 games. Breakout season for Jason Dirks. Yeah. He's been terrific. And he's season. come through the Whittlesey program yeah. as a right. junior. He's played all 200 games with Fantastic. the same club. He was a part of their um, part of their championship winning yeah. team. He's a real good club guy. So well done. You can't you can't buy that sort of no. stuff. No, can't buy. That's great. Uh, Diamond Valley Ringwood Beth put yes. on a, uh, Diamond Valley put on a great show for Maddie Fennell's 200. I think Speaking of milestones, a bit of a scare. they had to work hard in the DB second half. DB 86 lost to Ringwood 92. DB started with a 30 to 17 first quarter. Hawks went 75 to 56 after quarter time. Brian Dewar 38 and seven and five <laughs> trays. 38 Matt, points. That's incredible. <laughs> Matt Reynolds 20 points. Adam Moore, 15 and 11. Matt Fennell in his 200th game, 10 and 11. Well, well done to Matty Fennell, playing his 200th game as yes. well. Uh, we, yeah, absolutely. We uh, a very good player. We spoke about um, All-Star Fight predictions a few weeks ago, yeah. probably yep. four, four weeks ago, and we said that the guard position in state champ men was going to be red hot. Yeah. Absolute race to I'm the line. I'm glad I don't get a vote. I reckon Brian Dua, his form in the last month, He's Mate, you, you saw yeah. him when he hopped in off the ankle injury. <laughs> no, that was Marcus Rue. Oh, that was Marcus Rue. He's just as good. Yeah, no worries, that's it. Uh, but Brian Dewey, Brian Dewey is up and fine. And he can shoot from anywhere on the court. Anywhere. Yeah, just pulls yeah. up, even with a hand in his face. You know, playing no good issue. defense makes no difference. Kenny he hates so recruiting straight. shooters, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Hates it. Hates a three-point shot. He tries to stick to them. Uh, no, Brian Dewey very good with 38. McKinnon 101. Speaking of teams in form. I can't believe what I just read. They are yeah. up and about at the moment. Um, and McKinnon 101 defeated Hume City 93. A um, couple of big outs. Big a couple of big outs for the Cougars. Well, they didn't have Corey Maynard, and they still got up. But Cal, well, Cal Chambers has been suspended for the show from one week because he scratches yeah. in ordinary places. And that's places. extended yeah. to the basket. Yeah. Well. Uh, well, he's, he's done. We rang Allison at McKinnon, and we said, look, you've got to stand Cal down for yeah. this game. Yeah. So. Well, he did the notes for this game, and he said, it actually says here, the Cougars look great, didn't have Maynard or Chambers. God, he's full of himself, yeah. isn't he? Seriously. Who cares? Um, the Cougars win with a 59-32 first half. Kyle Harrison Bruin. He, he's had he he's under the radar. This guy. Oh, he had a great season. Yeah. 32 points at, seven, at 79 percent. 32 points, 79 percent. Made the blue card. You can't ask for a better in no, state exactly. championship. Had four triples. Zane Allen 25 points. How good has There's the season one. been for this young kid? Yeah, what, what, what have you got to do to get Rookie of the Year in state champ, man? What is it? What's the award? Playing. Um, that's the first season he can qualify for finals in, in that division. So. He's got to be up there. Yeah. Uh, am I going down the wrong path here? Does he qualify? Zane Allen? Did you say he's got to play? No, first season he can qualify for finals, so he could have been like Div 2 or yeah, Div 1. So no. Uh, even though they've gone up yeah, a division. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Zane, I'm giving you the award and I'm taking We're going to make an award straight away. For you, right. the Justin Nelson, <laughs> rookie of the year. Rookie award. of the year wins, I'm giving it to you with my left hand and taking it away with my right, mate. Sorry about that. Jermaine Maybach, 29 and 9. Jamal Brown, 26 and 10. I am an Indian giver. Uh, McKinnon are on fire. They are. And again, are they going to make the top? They're going to make top six. That's oh, it. There's no question. Yeah. And look, again, you know, I. You know, we muck around and give Cal a bit of stick about it being his team, but they've come up from Div 1. They're yeah. sitting fourth in the ladder and stage. They've been brilliant. And they've been outstanding. Yeah, been brilliant. They couldn't have done anything more. All my exactly team. Yeah. I said they'd win seven games for the year and that would have been a success for them. Yeah, been no, they're flying. flying. Absolutely flying. One team that is really flying is Waverley. 1-11 defeated Hawthorne 66. Falcons 56-28 to first half. 55-38 to second half. They shot at 51%, put away 14 from downtown, if you don't mind. Uh, Brad Kelleher. One hell of a season. Listen to this game. 26 points, 6 assists, and 5 triples. Also had plenty of steals. I think he only played 26, 27 minutes. Yeah. Chris Arkell, 20 and 13, 5 blocks. Siddell threat, 11 dimes. Ivan Platnik in game 250, or was Sunday 250? Saturday 250? Saturday. Saturday, two great players. So well done. Well done to the One destroy. of the best for a long yep. time. Yeah. 15 and 7 in the game. Benny Waldron, 24 and 8 for Hawthorne. Jay Allen didn't play. Let's go to Bulleen. Bulleen, 84, have defeated Melbourne, 40. Kind of what you would have expected, I think. Um, the Tigers have lost, I think it's four players that have now headed over to college, so you know they were sort of struggling anyway, so their yeah. depth has really been great for, their, great for their program. 
Mm. But they're stuck for the rest of the season. Yeah, absolutely. Gage has got to be close to having a game, sure. Well, yeah, he, he rolled the dice this week. Bit of a, a new Russian player. Well, well, Justin, can you tell us who it is? Well, I think, yeah. think Gage actually played. I think he just <laughs> used a pseudonym. He might have used a, a different name along what the lines of... What name was that? Um, uh, Valentin <laughs> Kalnichk. How does that go? Is that That'll right? do, because that's a better effect. Uh, they bring in a Russian import. A Russian import. Why wouldn't you? It would, Why not? They come about. They jumped on the phone to Mr. Putin. Mm. He got him in, flew him over. <laughs> oh, I heard they had vodka at the aftermatch. It went down very, very nicely. 47, 47 to 20 middle quarters by the Boomers. Won the rebounds 51 to 21. That's it. That is an You can't compete if you get talk about no, buildings. No, no, no. Uh, Thad Varmel, 17 points. That ankle starting to come good now. He had an ankle injury not that long ago. Carl Beston, 6 9. He's been pretty good, Carl. Yeah, he has. Um, Scotty Cuff, 16 9. Lachlan Anthony had 13 for Melbourne. I think it's going to be a tough road over the last third for Melbourne, despite yeah. the Russian import coming in. Uh, Elf had a very good win, Beth. Yes, Give close him some win. love. Give him close some win. love. Elf from 78 defeated Werribee, 70 48 to 32 middle quarters set up the Wildcats win. Sum and Bradbury, 18 and 12. Rusty Dow, 16 and 7 assists. McEwen, 11 and 7. Credit to Elf here because I didn't see this coming out. No. Well, they copped a couple of buildings last time, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. So uh, they've gone away and done some work. Obviously, um, worked hard over the long weekend break, and full credit to the Wildcats because I thought. Been he's, a, he's a ripping coach, Trevor Lee. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he's yeah. moulded this new team together, yeah. and uh, they're going to be a, a right of, They're pretty young. A couple, you know, yeah. they've still got the likes of James Mavasso that's going to keep developing. You know, add a couple of additions next year, and they'll be right back to where yeah. they need to be. Yeah, no, they're going to be right. Son Bradbury, that's a good game. His, his brother won a gold medal at the Winter Olympics. He's, he's not bad, Son. Uh, Sherbrooke, 72, defeated Hawthorne, Did? 62. Uh, just two points in it at a half time. Magic shot, 4 of 13 from the foul line. Four of thirteen, and when you lose by ten, you know, geez. Wow. Well, it wouldn't have made it wouldn't have made it up if you made the other night. But I'll tell you what, would have made a lot. Would have helped. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Grant Johnson, twenty-two and fourteen. Titus Robinson, twenty-one and sixteen and four blocks. Nathan Truman, good game, eighteen points. Benny Waldron. We keep talking about this kid. 21 and 13, Zach Natoli, 14. And I know they lost, but after the, the size of their loss the night before, at least um, Hawthorne backed it up and had a crack on the Sunday. Benny Waldron qualified for the Rookie of the Year? No. He's played youth, he's gone up to seniors. They're but all see seniors. That's yeah. Sorry, Hume Benny. I'm City. trying, mate. I'm trying to get you an award. Hume City actually won a game, which is I'm big giving, news. I'm giving away 37 awards. Just <laughs> add to the trophy list, mate. You know, we've got an unlimited budget here at Big V. Uh, Hume City 82 oh, and defeated Werribee 78. So the Broncos win. Back. Um, Jermaine Maybank, 25 points, 7 rebounds and 8 assists. Jamal Brown, 20 and 12. Rusty Dowd, 17 points. Jordan Hughes, 15 points. God, that week can really finish up Werribee, didn't it? Yeah, I reckon Werribee have lost their yeah. last... For now, the other thing about uh, Hume City, uh, you know, they're, they're still around about. Um, mm. But I just want to give some love to Jermaine Maybank. He's been in ripping yeah. form, mm. ripping That's form. Right. Very unlucky to miss the blue carpet this week, Jermaine Maybank. So you dogged him. Really unlucky that he was dogged by Cal. Let's go to Melbourne. Who no, wrote um, the blue carpet from under the Eiffel Tower? He did. No, he did well. Melbourne 53 went down to Waverley 91. Now, unless something's right, yeah, exactly. unless something's <laughs> changed since we've come on air, uh, no stats available for this game. No, there was an issue with the um, stats compared. Well, obviously. So, by time, um, if you want to check it out, jump on the bigv.com.au website, but by time this gets up on the um, on the computer. Well, I tried to find out some details about this game, so I gave the destroyer a call. He said, yeah, no, it was a low-key game. The boys played well, we got up. I scored 73 points. So, good on you, Ivan. Nice work. <laughs> uh, Probably had himself down <laughs> for 50 rebounds to make sure the rebound in time was one. Widdles, the 80 went down to Ringwood 100. Do you remember Latham? Arguably yes. his best game of the season, 29 and 15. Brian Dewar another 24 points. Petridis had 17 for Whittlesey. Jason. They're going to win the title. Yeah. You know what? Ring. Oh, here we go. They are. They are. Honestly, yeah, ring. What? It's a cake walk. It's a. Yeah, oh, never heard of that. How are you? No, no, he's brought to you. You know the Collingwood theme song? Don't worry about them. We're not going to play that. No, it's no, exactly. It's, it's, it's that very. Show. That's a very good point you make. Why would you want to know? That's a very good team. That's. Are you for real? Yeah. That's it, it's over. I think Waverley might push them. To I have you heard of Bay? Have you ever heard of Cryo Bay? Yeah, I have heard of Cryo Bay, but I think Waverley and Ringwood are a step ahead. And and I, maybe I'm biased because of that game we saw Ringwood play Cryo Bay. They just pulled them off the floor and they were unbelievable. But their ball movement is incredible. The way they pass the ball around, Zoma inside, Latham stepping up. They're the best three point deep. shooting team in the comp. I love the way that Kenny has these guys playing. I'm on the bandwagon. And it's a third of the season again. Riding the Hawks to the championship. 
There's a third of the season yeah. to go. No. Corio Bay Waverley Ring would the best. Am I wrong? Uh, you're not right. <laughs> But, but I'm not, not wrong. Corio <laughs> um, Bay, Waverley, and Ringwood are the best three teams in the competition. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, the team that is fit and healthy at the business end of the season can win this. But I, I if there's an injury yeah. to any one of those three teams, to one of their starting five, it is going to make an impact. Because yeah, they, I think, they are, I think Ringwood all, can cover it more. I think they're pretty deep. I agree, yeah. They're all good team. Okay, all right. Let's. Oh, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm not calling it this early. I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not calling. It's I'm not done. prepared to call it that early. Uh, go away with the ladder. Let us know who's on top at the moment. Crow Bay. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who I've written off and give no chance to. They're 15 and one, having won their last three. Waverley in second spot, 15 and two, having won their last they've seven. Won their last. They're doing all right, Waverley. <laughs> they're doing okay. They're okay. Ringwood 15. I think I just like three point shooting teams. No, that's no, my thing. No, no. That's why Ringwood called. Waverley only dropped 14 on the weekend, so you know. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Uh, Ringwood 15 and two. They've won their last five, and my title tip, uh, McKinnon <laughs> in fourth, at nine and six. They've won six in a row. Won their last six. They've been incredible. Well, as we mentioned earlier, Sherbrooke in fifth spot, the <laughs> ten and eight. They've won their last three. Bulleen rounding out the six at eight and eight. Diamond Valley seven and nine. Hume City seven and nine. Whittlesey seven and ten. Werribee is seven and ten. The wheels have fallen off and they've lost their last four. Eltham three and thirteen. Hawthorne two and fourteen. Melbourne and two and fifteen. Before we go, McKinnon Cougars. Oh, here we go. What? As a club, so that's all four teams are on a twenty-one game winning streak. Who told you that? Tim O'Brien on the phone. Just, just a, a good, 21 just a good game friend of mine out Cougar Land. Uh, to all my friends out at McKinnon, and I've got a few. Oh, and I've got none. <laughs> um, to all my friends out there at McKinnon, you might be on a 21 game winning streak, and your senior men might be on a six game winning streak, but it's about to stop. Wow. Let's go into round 13. Bulleen and Werribee. I think Bulleen get that, and it is so refreshing to be able to talk about Bulleen now, and I think they'll make the top six. I think they'll they'll finish either fifth anyway, or sixth. Uh, you know, uh, it is refreshing that we've now moved on from yeah. talking about Leicester every week, and yeah. Bulleen, that's their team. That's what they're going to Bulleen will win this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cry by McKinnon. Yeah, go on. 21 game winning streak. Well, as a club, six in a row for the men. When these teams played last time, McKinnon almost got up. Who? And they've added Corey Maynard, I assume, if he's back. And, well, Chambers is going to be back. So. Who are you going for? Corey Bay. <laughs> Corey Bay will win that. Hey, no, no disrespect to McKinnon. They have been very, very they good. Have. They've been outstanding. But they are the fourth best team in the competition right now for a reason, and they're coming up against the top team. Yeah. The top team at home. The Corey Bay win. The grand final. <laughs> That's right. You've written them right off. Melbourne Ringwood. Ringwood. I think Ringwood might just sneak home yeah. there. Whittlesey, Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke. It's Sherbrooke to win yeah. for me. Sherbrooke. Diamond Valley Waverley. Waverley. Waverley for Waverly. me. Come to Very good team, Waverley. Sunday game, Hume City Bulleen. Oh, that's a tough one. Danger game for Bulleen. I'm going to go Hume City. Hume City are sitting in 8, yeah. 7, and 9. They Bulleen are 8, and 8. Uh, yeah. Well, they win this, they're back even with Bulleen. Yeah. Who you go for? Hume City, I reckon that win um, is going to do them the world of good from last round. I don't know they're home for, they're going to get up. Bulleen. I'm going to go with Bulleen to win on the road as well. Ringwood McKinnon. At the rings? Just a nice, easy weekend. Who yeah, <laughs> fished at stage? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Cal, what are you doing, mate? Uh, Ringwood. Ringwood. Yeah, I think Ringwood will get up there. Eltham and Hawthorne. Eltham, going to make it two in a row. Come on, Beth. Go I'm going to go Hawthorne as well. And I reckon Benny Waldron might go over 30 points this week. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, he's a very, very good young player. I've just given him five awards in today's show. <laughs> hey, have a great week. Enjoy it. Round 13 coming up officially the last third of the season. The Here regular guys season. Race to the finals. Four. I'll even say sure, but I reckon five spots are done. I reckon the Suns are going to make it. No, yeah. no, no, I agree. Yeah. Got they've, two they've done well. Yeah, they've done well. Yeah, they stay Grant Johnson is incredible. It, it just absolutely. See you next week. Uh, Cal might be, may or may not be back. I'm not going to say. If he comes much. back, you'll have to read an apology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apology next week on the show. See you then.